when textile archaeologist Annika Larson of Uppsala University first saw the intricate patterns laced in silver and silk thread on the burial garments of Vikings, she did and know what they signified. But their shapes tugged at her memory. I couldn't quite make sense of them and then I remembered where I had seen similar designs, in Spain, on Moorish textiles, she tells Tharik Hussain, reporting for BBC. She realized that the patterns weren't just geometric designs, but Arabic Kufic script developed in the 7th century and one of the first Arabic scripts used to write the Quran. Larson was working with a team of researchers to recreate textile patterns for the Viking Couture exhibit at the Entropping Museum in Sweden. To investigate the odd occurrence of Arabic script on Viking clothing, the team enlarged the patterns and examined them from many angles, including from behind. This at last revealed the word Allah, or God, stitched in mirrored lettering. The name Ali was also repeated, a reference to the fourth caliph of Islam who is revered by the Shia, the largest Muslim minority group. Perhaps this was an attempt to write prayers so they could be read from left to right, but with the Arabic characters they should have, Larson says in a press release from the university. Emira reveals the Arabic word for Allah and reconstructed stitch work from Viking Age burial garments, Annika Larson Uppsala University This ISNT the first time that researchers have uncovered evidence for a connection between the Vikings, who enjoyed great influence in Europe from late 8th century through the mid-11th, and the Islamic world, according to Martin Bellum at The Guardian, more than 100,000 Islamic silver coins have been found in Viking Age Scandinavia. Researchers uncovered objects related to Islam, Christianity and the worship of Thor at the Vale of York Viking Horde in 2007. And a Viking woman's ring found in 2015 has an inscription reading for Allah or to Allah. That we so often maintain that Eastern objects in Viking Age graves could only be the result of plundering, and eastward trade dose and hold up, Larson says in the press release. Instead, the discoveries offer evidence of contact and the influence of Islam on Viking customs, writes Ostasam Vachan Clausen for National Geographic. Larson's earlier research has detailed how common it was for Eastern artifacts to appear in Viking Age graves, suggesting burials were shaped by Islamic traditions. It's also possible that some people in Viking era graves were Muslim. The most novel part of the finding is the name Ali, the first time it has appeared on artifacts from Scandinavia. The name offers a tantalizing but enigmatic clue. The use of Ali does suggest a Shia connection. Amir de Martino, program leader of Islamic studies at the Islamic College in London, tells the BBC. But the pattern appears without the phrase Wali Allah or Friend of Allah, a discrepancy that could be a simple mistake, lost in translation from one culture to another. The textiles, reconstructions and more are one view as part of the Entropping Museum's Viking Couture exhibit running through early February 2018. Like this article sign up for our newsletter.